Once Upon a Time Stories from Leicester Library's Neighbourhood Services. I'm Sandy and the story I've got for you today has an acorn, a little nut from an oak tree in it and a very hungry fox. But it's called Henny Penny. <sighs> Once Upon a Time, Henny Penny, the little black hen was underneath the big old oak tree pecking around in the long grass for seeds to eat when down from the tree plink fell an acorn and bounced off her head and landed in the long grass. Oh what was that? said Henny Penny flapping her wings. She looked up, she looked down, she looked all around but she couldn't see anything anywhere. Well if it was an acorn that's that said Henny Penny but I can't see one. And she looked again. She looked down and around. And then she looked up. <gasps> oh dear, she said. Do you think a piece of sky fell on my head? I must tell somebody. And she ran and she ran along and along and along until she came to Cocky Locky. <gasps> Cocky Locky, Cocky Locky. Said Cocky Locky. What are you doing, Henny Penny? Where are you off running to? <gasps> Cocky Locky, a piece of sky blink, fell on my head, said Henny Penny. I think the sky is falling. Oh. Well, are you sure it wasn't just an acorn from the old oak tree? said Cocky Locky. No, said Henny Penny. I couldn't see one anywhere, and, and it landed right on my head. Well, said Cocky Locky, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not right. No, um, um, hmm, uh, we must, um, tell somebody. Yes, we must, uh, <coughs> we must tell the king. So, Penny Penny and Cocky Locky flipped and flapped along and along and along until they met. Ducky Locky, quack, where are you off to? said Ducky Lucky. Oh, we're going to see the king, said Henny Penny. The sky is falling, a piece of it fell, bonk, right on my head. Yes, said Cocky Lucky, it's not right. Wow, said Ducky Lucky. That's amazing. Are you sure it wasn't just an acorn from the old oak tree? No, no, said Henny Penny. A piece of it fell right on my head and To come with you, said Ducky Lucky. So Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky and Ducky Lucky flipped and flapped along and along and along until they met Goosey Lucy. Honk, stop, said Goosey Lucy. Where are you off to? Oh, the sky is falling, Goosey Lucy, said Henny Penny. A piece of it fell, bonk, right on my head and it hurts. Yes, said Cocky Lucky. It's not right. It's a said Ducky Lucky. Are you sure it wasn't just an acorn from the oak tree? said Goosey Lucy. No! they all shouted. A piece of it fell on my head and oh it hurts, said Henny Penny. Well, um, that's important, said Goosey Lucy. I'll come to, to tell the king. So, they flipped and they flapped along and along and along until they met Turkey Lurkey. Oh, where are you all off to? said Turkey Lurkey. The sky's falling, said Henny Penny. A piece of it, bonk, fell on my head. It hurts a lot. Oh my, um, oh, that's worrying, said Turkey Lurkey. Yes, it's not right, said Cocky Lucky. It's amazing, said Ducky Lucky. It's very worrying, said Turkey Lurkey. Um, can I come too? So, along they all went, along and along and along, flipping and flapping until there, out of nowhere, was Foxy, Loxy, hungry Mr. Fox. Oh, my, my, said Foxy Loxy. Where are you lovely birds off to? <gasps> oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling said Henny Penny. A piece of it fell bonk on my head. It 
hurts. I see. Are you sure it wasn't just an acorn from the old oak tree? said Foxy Loxy. No! shouted Henny Penny and Cocky Locky and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Turkey Lurkey. It's very worrying, said Turkey Lurkey. We're off to see the king. Said Cocky Locky. Hmm, I see the king, said Foxy Loxy. Well, um, well, you better come with me. I know a quick way. So Henny Penny and Cocky Locky and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Turkey Lurkey ran after Mr. Fox along and along and down and down and down into the dark of Foxy. Loxy's den. And I'm afraid that's the last anyone ever saw of Henny Penny and Cocky Locky and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Turkey Lurkey. So the king never did get to hear that the sky might be falling. But Foxy Loxy and Mrs Fox and all the little fox children ate a very big dinner that night. And that's the story of Henny Penny. And if you liked it, go and tell it to someone else. Bye. <laughs>